This Liberty Sports Update is brought to you by Beacon Credit Union. Trey Sean, you guys undefeated coming in. Trying to get to 9-0 and and sweep the ACC. I mean, does that does that feel real to you? Um, it, it, it didn't at first, really, because it's, it's, like, it's a surprise just because I like, didn't really know what to expect like coming in this year, just with all the new players that we got and people putting in different positions like throughout the season, just moving people around. So um, it was it was a shock, but I'm like I'm I'm grateful and like thankful that we are doing what we're doing, and I'm I'm proud of my team. And like it's just it's just fun being a part of this team. So I feel like we're gonna we're gonna do good. NC State's offense they can put up some points. Uh, Hawkman seems like he's kind of catching on at quarterback. Uh, what what kind of things stand out to you when you look at him? Um, really. What like what our coach basically like what we go over um, when we're talking about it we really just um, he he's not like the fastest but he's not he's also not slow he's he's mobile and he's able to get outside the pocket when he needs to so we're really just focusing on um, playing our keys right and when I need to contain him I'm containing him when I need to rush I need to rush and get back there and uh, make him throw the ball quicker so we're just focusing on that and just getting him to have to release the ball faster and make um, bad passes. So, Yeah, last one for me along those lines. Does he look like a different guy when he's uh, getting forced to, to make some throws quicker? I mean, I noticed that at, at times Florida State was able to get some pressure on him and mm -hmm. looked like that uh, maybe you know that was uh, – kind of forced him into some bad spots. Is that something you guys are looking to do? Absolutely. That's exactly what we're looking to do. Um, we've seen um, when he throws um, bad that he does make mistakes and that we can um, capitalize off, off of those. So we're looking forward to just putting that pressure on him. All right, let's uh, let's get some other questions. John Manson from the Sea of Red. Hey, Trey, John, we were talking to uh, Carl and, and um, Tim and they they were talking about how you know you guys are all related and and uh, kind of ended up at Liberty there together. Um, you know, if I got my timeline correct, I think you were the first one to uh, to commit back under Coach Gill, and then obviously signed under Freeze. Um, just take us back through that um, that process. How you you know we've talked about you commit to Liberty before, but you know after you committed and signed with Liberty, did you go and talk to your your cousins, you know Carl and Carlos or, or Tim about it at all? Just what was that process like? Um, I didn't really like talk to them about it at first because it was like something that you know I was still like kind of just getting used to like that I committed, you know. So um, after I committed, like. Their mom and dad, like, they contacted me, and they're like, we're so happy for you. You're going to be closer to um, home, and, like, we get to come to the games and all that stuff. But, like, we we hadn't really, like, talked about, like, them, like, coming to Liberty at first. Like, we didn't, I didn't really know what direction they were going in or how their season was going or anything like that. So um, it was really a surprise to me just to um, – find out that they were coming here. But I was like, I was ecstatic. Like I was, I went crazy. I was like, please let them come here. I was trying to do everything I could to help them get in here. So it was just like, it was a good feeling just to um, have them join me. Cause you know, this is a good team. And I was, I was happy to have them. At what point did you realize that um, that might be a possibility? Was it after you were already at Liberty or during that process that you were finishing up your senior year? What was that like? Um, it was actually after I was already here. Um, when I found out, um, I had already like been on the team for a couple of months, um, and then like I think either it was one of the, it was either Carl or Los that um, contacted me, and they were like, um, "We're thinking about committing here," and they were like, "Is there anything like you can do like to just to uh, like talk to the coaches to um, let them know that we want to go here?" Because they were walk-ons at um, I can't remember the school. They were walk-ons somewhere. But um, they wanted to. They wanted to try to come here, so um, I was just trying to help them get in here. So I was like, whatever I can do, I'll help you guys because I, I would love to have my family here with me. So. Damien, go ahead. Hey, uh, Treshawn, when you with Tim and all everything he's gone through with his foot, and, uh, working to get back on the field. How happy were you to see him get back against Virginia Tech and? Uh, what do you think he's brought to this team besides from a veteran presence who's been in a lot of big games? Um, I was really happy for him. Like 
I was rooting for him the whole time just because like I could see how hard he was working to get back. Like he was not he was not gonna take no for an answer. Like he wanted to come back as soon as he could and I just see him every day pushing himself to heal faster and like just to get back on that field. And, like the day that he did come back, I was like I was like, You're back. I was like, let's just go get it. I was like, go out there and I was like, don't think about anything except just playing. I was like, if you think about the injury, then it's more likely for you to get hurt. So I was like, just go out there and trust yourself and trust that God is gonna guide you in the right direction. But he just brings that like I, I tell him like I think that he brings that grit and like he just he's not he's confident in himself so he brings that confidence to the team as well like where he knows that he can make the plays if he needs to. And um, did you get to know did you know him or the pools growing up much because you were in Florida or how how did that family dynamic work out? I I knew um, the pools I knew Carl and Los but I I actually did not meet Tim until he came here like I had no idea that they were related to him. Um, and I don't even think I'm related to him. He's a cousin of um, on their dad's side, so I'm not. I don't think I'm related to him. But once I I met him, I was like, "You're you're part of the family, so you're family to me too." So uh, going back to Carl or going back to Carl and everything he's gone through, like you said, uh, coming from another school to Liberty, having to earn his way on to scholarship, the sacrifices you know his parents have made uh, for both of them. How happy were you to see him get a scholarship, and what have you seen in his development this year that he's, you know, backing up Anthony at the mic and really showing that he can play at the Division One level? Um, I was really happy for him. Like that was a day that I was even emotional on. Like I was just so proud of him, just because like I knew how hard it was gonna be just for him to earn that. But I knew that he could do it, and like I told him the like from the day one. Like I told both of them, I was like, if you guys just come in, like you put in the work. I was like, they'll notice. Like they have no choice but to recognize that you're a good player. I was like, because I know that you guys are good, but you gotta show them as well. And like I could just see him every day. He's trying to get the plays in. He's trying to show coach that he's trustworthy and like that he can put him in when he needs to put him in. And um, like just to see him on that field and like just to see him working hard day after day, like trying to earn his position, um, I was just rooting for him. Like I was so proud of him. Like just to see where he had, where he is now from where he came, um, I'm just like I'm extremely proud of him because like he's a hard worker and like he deserved it. So. Uh, Want to go back to NC State here for a minute? Uh, Coach referenced their tackles uh, on Monday. Um, when you look at their uh, their tackles, I mean, what do you see on tape as far as you know what you're going to be going up against here this Saturday? Um, we we see that they are aggressive, like they do come off the rock and like they're coming to take kill shots and all that stuff. But um, we also see that um, when you give them that contact and like when you hit them back with power, they just stop their feet and. Um, we know that, so we're just working on just being as aggressive as they are, um, being more aggressive than they are, and being finesse when we need to be finesse. Um, so we're just really focusing on just playing our keys and getting better at our assignments and um, our technique. Well, what do you think they're better at? Run, run, uh, run blocking, pass blocking. I mean, what, what's uh, what's their strength? Um, they're definitely better at run blocking from what I see on film, just because they're aggressive and they come off the ball.